morning stars welcome and welcome back it's your girl midnight moon and today we're getting into our boxy charm base box for the month of november in today's video we'll be unboxing our november variation as well as trying on some of the products and giving my first impressions and final thoughts so if you guys want to see any of that then just make sure you keep on watching if you're not a part of my galaxy glam squad yet then please subscribe down below hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads because we do do these boxy charm unboxings monthly show your support give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends and leave a comment at the end of this video and let me know if you like the look that we'll be creating today or have any of the products that we'll be trying today with that being said, let's jump into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to give me a million dollars at the night scene. In an effort to make these videos a little bit shorter, all disclaimers will be mentioned down in the description box below. With the disclaimers, you'll find how I got these products, whether this video was paid, endorsed, sponsored gifted etc 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 timestamps product links product mentions and any referral links will also be mentioned down in the description box below so check that out if you guys are new to boxycharm boxycharm is a monthly beauty subscription box there are three subscriptions to choose from there's the base the premium and the luxe which is a quarterly upgrade to the base box as I mentioned earlier, today we'll be talking about the base box, which retails for $27.99 with five full-size products. You get one choice a month on choice day, and there are some additional taxes and fees, so do keep that in mind. When signing up with BoxyCharm, you guys will be filling out a beauty profile. This profile basically curates the products every month for you. Again, you do get one choice a month and BoxyCharm will choose the rest of the products for you. With that being said, my boxes are gifted to me by BoxyCharm for review, so mine are not curated to me. So now that I've let you guys know a little bit about BoxyCharm, let's jump into our unboxing for the month of November. So again, this is our base box for November. In every box, we do get a little pamphlet that tells us the theme of the month. The pamphlet will also tell you all the products you received, a little bit more about them, where you can find them on social media, and the pricing. This month's BoxyCharm theme is It's Giving Giftable Glam. This is how our card looks. First product we're gonna be jumping into is a brow product. Also, excuse the lighting a little bit. It is daylight savings time, just finally hit, as you guys know. So the lighting is a little off now. So I am using the lights on my vanity along with the daylight. So I know it probably doesn't look exactly the same, but bear with me guys. This is the Bell and Argent, if I'm saying that correctly, I'm probably not. Reframing brow gel, it retails for $19 and it says, let's reframe things, shape brows with this jojoba infused brow gel that's long lasting and flexible with a clean formula that feels comfortable throughout the day. Realize all your full feathery brow dreams with our fine brush that doesn't miss any spots. Made with jojoba oil to condition and promote the growth of your brows. Now, a lot of the brow gels I have have jojoba oil, so I think that's a great ingredient to have in a brow gel. That's how it looks. Basic uh, chrome looking packaging, and this is in the shade clear. This is how the wand looks. Now, I do have to say, this is my first time with a wand this long. Uh, now, for the bristles, I've always had uh, short bristles on my brow gels, which is something I personally like because it really does help to get every last brow hair, but the wand is never this long, so we're gonna see how it goes. I think it's actually gonna go well, but like I said, we'll find out. Now, when I typically use a brow gel, I do usually use the gel first and then do my brows, but because of the product that I did use today, I did it the other way around, so I will just be setting the brows with this i did already do them with the urban decay brow blade which is a brow pencil on one side and a ink stain marker on the other side so let's go ahead and try it out it does have a smell but i can't really tell you what it exactly smells like it's not like a sweet smell it smells like a product smell but it's not bad it's not overbearing i did also for the first time laminate my brows yesterday so i'm loving how they're looking if you want to see that video stay tuned i'm not sure if i'm going to post it before this video goes out or after but like I said stay tuned stay tuned now i do have to say this brush doesn't really pull out too much product uh which can be a good thing but in my opinion i like something that pulls out a decent amount of product at least uh this is not doing it for me right now like i have to keep this is my third time dipping back into the brush uh, but if you're someone that doesn't like a lot of product, who likes to build up and really just take their time with it, then this is definitely for you. 
I do like how it is brushing the brows though. Like I said, it's just not like super thick. It is a very light formula. There you go. If you guys can notice a difference, again, I did do my brows already, so probably not gonna be too much of a difference. Plus I did laminate them, so that also helps in helping to tame them. But that's how the one side looks. This side was done, just so you guys know. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera, and then we're gonna get into the next product. So these are how the brows look. Now, they do hold because I'm touching it, and it does feel very flat to my brow, which is something I really like. It does work. It just is very lightweight, and you do have to build it up if you do want that effect. I'm gonna try it out a few more times and see how it goes. Um, but so far, like I said, I really do like it. Super lightweight very easy to use i thought the wand would be a little flimsy because it does feel kind of plasticky but it's actually not flimsy uh it may be a little flimsier on thicker brows again i did just laminate mine so they're a little softer uh than normal brows uh so just keep that in mind but so far i love it now the next one we're gonna get into there's not too much makeup in here so i am gonna use a palette from my collection we're gonna use two palettes actually and create a look today but the next product is the Ofer cosmetics midi palette face it i actually am super excited for this one because i have not tried an Ofer cosmetics product lately and i see them so much in boxycharm but i personally have not gotten one until now so i'm like so excited i've heard their formulas are beautiful and this is actually a contour highlighter and bronzer so i think that's really cool to have something like this in your collection so we're gonna go ahead and try it out so again this is the Ofer cosmetics face it midi palette it retails for 35 dollars. it's actually not too bad for a three pan palette and it says bring the vacay to you with this curated complexion trio to sculpt warm and highlight this palette features buildable matte contours and soft shimmer bronzers perfectly coordinated for light medium and deep skin tones so as you guys heard there are different uh shades to the palette i have the medium which should work very beautifully on my skin feels pretty durable which i like i love like a good feeling hefty palette and it does come with a compact mirror and then these are your shades of course this is the highlighter i believe this is like one of their most famous highlighters so i'm super excited to have it this is rodeo drive we have a contour which would be this one and a bronzer which is this one the bronzer does have some like shimmer reflex no glitter so it's supposed to really add that nice warmth and glow to the skin i did cream contour already but we're just gonna lay it over our cream contour already because i do like to put both just to set it just to let you guys know these other two shades this is the contour which is san fran and then this is the bronzer which is pacifica we're gonna go in with the contour shade first. I have my contour brush and let's go ahead and do it. Also, I do have blush on, so just keep that in mind again. So this is the side with the contour and this is the side without. I think it did a nice little job on carving it out a little bit more. I like how it looks. It sits over the cream products very well and the foundation that I'm using, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. It is mixed with the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigments. So there's two types of formulas in there, but um, it's working perfectly over those. Love it, love it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish contouring and then we're gonna step into our bronzer and our highlighter. Now we're gonna go ahead and dip into our bronzer. So we're pretty much just gonna lay this right above the bronzer shade we used and right on top of our cream blush. Now we're gonna jump into our last shade in the trio, which is this middle highlight shade. And this is again, Rodeo Drive. Now let's see what the hype is about on this highlighter. it is very pretty i do have to say that it's more of like a natural dewy highlight that i feel like will work on most skin tones so this is how the one side looks with the highlighter absolutely stunning i love it So 
this is how the face palette on my face came together. This is honestly going to be my favorite product in this box. This box was actually, I would say it's pretty good, but it wasn't one of my favorites um, from what I'm seeing so far. Uh, but I honestly, like I said, this is definitely going to be my favorite product of the box, especially because I've been wanting a O for Cosmetics palette for so long. And the colors are just absolutely beautiful. And this is definitely something I'll probably use in almost every single look. Chef's kiss. All right, guys. So now I want to jump into the eyes. Again, we didn't get any eye products. So I'm going to be jumping into my own eye products, my own palette. Feel free to skip through to see the rest of the products for this box. Like I said, we do have one more makeup product. We have a hair care product and a skincare product. So just stay tuned if you want to see that. I'm going to be jumping into two palettes today. I'm going to be using the Mermaid Island palette by Baddest Takeover. Unfortunately, she is closing down her shop. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to get this anymore. Um, but she was amazing. I wish she didn't shut down. Um, not sure why, you know, things happen. It happens at the end of the day. But um, yes, we'll be using the Mermaid Island palette from her and the BH Cosmetics Party in Puerto Rico palette. I'm going to go ahead and set my eye base, which I'll be using the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer in shade 845 Warm Beige. And we'll be right back to jump straight into the eye look. The Party in Puerto Rico by BH Cosmetics. And we're going to jump into the first shade, Castillo, which is this like kind of reddish br brick brown right here. We're going to use that shade for our transition. So now I'm taking another brush and we're just going to blend that shade out a little bit to make it a little bit more smoother. Next shade we're going to jump into is this one. I don't know how to say it, um, but I'm going to try to. Cayo Icacos. I'm going to use that to blend out the Castillo shade we just used. Now in the same palette, we're going to jump into Culebra, which is this orange shade right here. We're going to use that to finish blending out all the colors. Now we're going to step into our Mermaid Island palette from Baddest Takeover. We're going to jump into the shade Starfish right here. We're going to put that right over the shade Castillo, which we used in the other palette for our transition for our crease. Now we're going to go back into our concealer and we're going to go ahead and cut our crease to add a couple more colors. Now we're gonna jump into our BH Cosmetics palette, Puerto in Puerto Rico. We're gonna take the first brush we used for that first color, Castillo, and we're gonna jump back into Castillo and put that on the outer V of our eye to keep that dark and deep. We're gonna jump into that Starfish Pink, which was this one right here. And we're going to just take that and go over the Castillo color we just used to smoothen everything out. It looks pretty good, honestly, but I just want to do it anyway to add that little pop of color. So I did bring that pink over just a tad bit, if you guys can see it. So the next shade we're going to jump into, we're going to go back into our BH Cosmetics palette. We're going to go into Condado which is this very pretty yellow shade right here. And we're going to use that from the inner lid almost all the way up to the middle, not all the way though. Jumping back into our Mermaid Island palette, we're going to go into the shade Sunset. And we're going to use that to pretty much finish off wherever we don't have any color, which is between that yellow and the pinkish red shade. We're going to go into our BH Cosmetics palette. We're going to go into San Juan, and that's going to be our shade for our inner corner. 
the eyes are done well at least for the eyeshadow look we're gonna go ahead and do a couple products off camera so again like so we didn't get any eye products and then we'll get into our next product for our boxy charm for liner and waterline i'm gonna use the tarte cosmetics double take awake micro liquid liner and brightener for mascara i'm gonna use the araceli beauty monarca mascara glue we're gonna use super stronghold eyelash adhesive and clear from i envy by kiss and the chiseled beauty lashes in style frida all right guys so we are almost done i did add some lip liner and i set my face so just to let you guys know what i used for that we used the toy factory super set hyaluronic acid setting spray and for lip liner we use the italia deluxe makeup ultra fine lip liner in natural beige if you guys do want to see the rest of the product details or more info on them then i will make sure to have some photos up when this video goes out so make sure you're connected with me on instagram at midnight moon makeup now we're going to jump into our final makeup product which is actually more like skincare makeup next product we have is the lip slick fruit lip oil by sophia and mabel this is what it looks like and we did actually get a sophia and mabel product in our ipsy glam bag i'll have that video linked up here somewhere so just click on it if you guys do want to see that review and i absolutely love that primer so i know i'm not going to be disappointed at least i hope i'm not going to be disappointed in this product um and this is in the scent shade yuzu this is what the actual packaging looks like very simple but very pretty still and this retails for 22 dollars and it says so you think you're slick this lip oil gives you soft glossy lips with no tackiness it's lightly colored and applies to the lips like a slick transparent oil with a fruity twist use it for a nourished look or in place of lipstick on days that call for a chill look this is what the applicator looks like what I'm noticing already is it's not like most oils, which can be like either very sticky or very slippery. This one actually has a good little like grip on it. So I can definitely tell that because of how it grips onto the lip, it's going to last a while. But this is how it looks. Got to move it around a little bit more. It's looking a little sticky. It is slightly sticky. I'm seeing that as you guys could see as I'm... Um, blotting if you kind of see it pulling at the edges honestly still not a bad uh lip oil i don't like how it's clinging right there it is clinging a lot so just keep that in mind um i am wearing a lip liner so maybe this would be better without a lip liner that could be why it's sticking like that i really don't think so but it could be why so i will test this out another day so far i really do like it like i said it has a nice grip a nice hold it's not like too thick and sticky this is pretty much our look for today again i'll have the product details and this look and close-ups and all that good stuff over on instagram so follow me there i'll also have a little transition because you guys know i've been doing my transitions lately um and yeah but this is how we're looking absolutely obsessed with that Ofer cosmetics palette though guys that was everything so now let's get into our last two products for our base box and then we'll give our value and final thoughts and impressions of this month's box fourth product up in the box is this baby which i'm super excited for but i have so many lip scrubs so uh this will have to i'll probably it'll probably be in use but it's not gonna be used right away so i will open it and show you guys how it looks if i'm saying it correctly this is the amina macaroon lip scrub it resells for 18 dollars, and it says looking to have juicy and smooth lips this lip scrub is just for you. Made with organic and all natural lip safe ingredients, this scrub smells just like a freshly baked macaroon delight. And guess what? You can lick it off because it's made of real sugar. I think that's amazing. I have a few products that you can actually do that with a few lip scrubs um, and I have some that you can't. So it's really cool that you can do that if you know that was the option or you do get it in your mouth. It's, it's safe, it's, it's not bad. It smells very good, it smells fruity look at the texture the consistency of it it's literally like a whipped sugar and it's so pretty look at it so pretty oh my gosh even the packaging like i love 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 this i've never heard of this brand i've never tried this brand but i'm pretty sure after this scrub i'm gonna be in love now let's jump into our fifth and final product which we're not gonna use today but i will have a separate video for it for sure this is the solil if i'm saying it correctly i'm saying a lot of things off today but this is the solil 
hair tools mini heat brush it retails for 150 dollars this tool is perfect for on the go styling and touch-ups it's as powerful and easy to use as a full-size tool but compact enough to carry with you everywhere you go the rapid heat time and heat resistant bristles allow this cute handy brush to glide through your hair quickly and easily safe for all hair types welcome your new favorite hair tool so this is actually the most money um out the box so just this alone is worth the box like way more than the box again the box is is $27.99 then taxes and fees probably make it right under 35 um probably a little bit less than that but just to let you guys know this pretty much pays for the box itself travel bag of course and this is what the actual thing looks like i like how the bristles look actually They're really cool i have a couple heat brush videos that i have done um if you guys want to check them out they'll be listed up here and i'll try to remember to put it in the description box as well one of them look like this so i think this is really cool um we'll see how it works and if it's really worth 150 dollars uh because i do think that's kind of hi let me know if you guys have tried this product out in the comments below this is in the shade apricot and just so you guys know this is made with ceramic tourmaline bristles which i have used uh technology and hairbrushes like that and they work amazing so like i said we'll have to see how this goes and infrared technology locks in moisture for fridge free hair it heats up to 400 degrees which i think is perfect um heat resistant bristle guard and dual voltage for worldwide use again i can't wait to use this we have the value of this month's box this month's box retailed out to be 244 dollars i'm gonna say this like i do in every single video it's worth the value one product in here alone pays for the box itself and most of the time in my boxes that's how it usually is even if it's not two products pay for what you're paying for for five products a month um if you was like i always say if you was to go to sephora ulta beauty or nordstrom or any other like regular store um you would definitely not get that price you'd be paying that full 244 dollars for the box so as always i think it's a great deal it's a great value especially if you're looking to build a collection or just looking to try different things every month again just a recap of what we got in our box we got the soleil mini heat brush and apricot we got the ofer cosmetics midi palette face it we got the Amanaya Macaroon Lip Scrub. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. And same thing with this. I'm sorry if I'm butchering this name. The Bell and Argent Reframing Brow Gel and the Sophia Mabel Lip Slick Fruit Lip Oil. Again, I'm not super, super excited like how I can be with some of these boxes, but I think it we did get some really great stuff and I can't wait to use everything and try everything out. Let me know, guys, your thoughts on this month's November box. Let me know how you liked this look that we created today. And if you haven't yet, then please join my Galaxy Glam Squad now where we explore the world of beauty Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Like I said, we will be trying out the Soleil hairbrush uh, probably, I want to say in the next month, but don't come at me if I don't come out in the next month with that video. I will definitely for sure have it. I'm just not sure when, guys. If you did like the video, give it a huge thumbs up. Share it with friends and comment. Again, let me know your thoughts. With that being said, you guys keep being the beautiful shining stars you are. And I'll see you in our next video. Later.